Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics showing how you can edit the history of the command line interpreter. I'm going to pull up the command line interpreter, also called the terminal, with Control-Alt-T. And now I'm going to bring it into the corner of the screen, and now I'm going to zoom in on it. This command line interface is the old method of how you used to exclusively instruct the computer how to do things. You would type all of your commands in here and all of the names of the programs. And since we have of course gotten the graphical user interface with icons and they call it the WIMP window, icon, mouse, and pointer. But the old way of doing things is this terminal or the command line interface, the CLI. And there are hundreds and thousands of commands still yet only accessible through the command line interpreter. But there's a good feature with it. Instead of having to type in all of these commands, you use the up arrow key and it will bring up the last command used. And then if you up arrow key again, the one before that, before that, before that, before that, until you get to the very top. Now I'm hitting the up arrow key repeatedly and nothing is happening because I'm at the top and there are 500 lines so remembered but they might get cluttered I'm going down 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 and now I'm open again and I can type something in well you may want to go in there and get rid of the clutter and I'm going to show you how to do that and I've actually got it in here already so let me go up and here it is it is sudo and that gives permission for the user that's you to edit something that is normally not editable. It's usually locked. Then you go to the text editor gedit and you open up this file slash home slash your username slash and this is important. The dot means it is a hidden file and then bash underline history all one word and I'm going to now go enter It'll ask for my password, and there we are. And this is my entire bash history. And what you can do now is you can, if you want to, edit a line out. And I'm going to do that by hitting the delete key until this whole line is gone. And then when I save it, file, save. Now my bash history is is uh, one line shorter. I could eliminate the whole thing. In fact, let me demonstrate something. I'm going to, uh, let's see now, I'm going to go, uh, oh, let, let's say you've got porn in there. I mean, goodness gracious. Uh, there's no such command called porn, right? But it's stuck in there and it's there forever. So you could think of this as a method of getting rid of junk or porn or useless things out of your computer. Now I am going to make an icon for this. And the icon I showed how to do in the prior, prior video. I'm going to go up here and open and I'm going to go to applications and in my prior video I showed how to make this one called create icon and I'm going to make an icon for this very thing and the first thing you have to do is to remember to change it to application in terminal and I'm going to call it edit terminal or CLI and remember we're going to type in sudo g edit slash home your username slash and then this dot is important bash underline history and then you go OK. Now I have just created an icon for that so I'm gonna go up here to dash home 
go to applications and we're gonna look up the word edit where the heck is it edit terminal password and there it is I am now able to go in there and edit the porn or whatever out of my history let's get rid of also mixer too and we go file save and that's all there is to it and my name is pop and I've got a whole bunch of video tutorials called Ubuntu basics and I hope you enjoyed this and I thank you very very much